Hi, I'm Daryl Bryant and I'm one of the founders and CEO of Hudson Horizons and we're an integrated web agency and what we do is we provide mobile, social, uh, search and web solutions to companies to help them become more successful online. When did I meet Daryl? I met Daryl um, in Montclair State University. Uh, we were actually acquaintances. Um, you know, we would see each other out and about. And basically, I was doing similar things to him. Um, I was actually working as a freelance programmer. Um, he was doing the business side with another company. And we uh, met for drinks one time, and here we are almost 11 years later. Sure. So, I mean, in, in bi building a business, uh, you, you know, you, you set out to try to build the best business you can. And along the way comes challenges, uh, comes some bad decisions, and you learn from those lessons. And you really just kind of uh, learn to adapt and say, you know what, I'm never going to make those mistakes again. And it's, uh, it's okay if you fail, and it's okay if you, you know, make some wrong decisions along the way. But learning from them and, and building off of that to, to kind of, um, you know, create more of a, uh, a business for yourself in the future that will allow you to kind of learn off of your failures in the past. How would I learn from past failures? I would say the biggest thing about past failures is really realizing what your mistake is. We've had a lot of failures growing as a company and most of the time it's growing pains, you know, trying to get from step to step, trying to figure out what's the next direction we should take or what's the right avenue we should go. So as an entrepreneur, you know, once you build a business and you get the taste for entrepreneurship, you really start to think about, well, what else can I do in life? What else can I build and, and, and you know, do something that's bigger than myself? And, and that's what we've done. So we've gotten Hudson Horizons to a point where it's self-sufficient, we have an amazing team around us, and we have 25 employees, and we've been able to build the business and be able to kind of think about this next realm of what we want to do. And we've created another company called Startup Valley, and we're an equity crowdfunding platform that allows technology startups to raise capital, and in exchange are giving away equity ownership in their business. So we wouldn't have been able to do that if we weren't able to scale the business in the first place. If you just graduated college, now is the time to do whatever you think you want to do for the rest of your life. There's a good chance you're going to fail, there's a good chance you're going to be successful, but if you wait, if you don't take that risk now when you have the opportunity to do so, you might never have that opportunity again. It, as, a, as a fresh student who just graduated uh, from college, if you want to become an entrepreneur, you want to start your own business, I say go for it. Um, you know, maybe you need to get a part-time job so you can help build that business like Matt and I did. We both waited tables after school in order to, to kind of build the business. So I would just say take a step in the right direction, set out to build your business, and um, really just focusing on building a business and not necessarily creating a job for yourself. Another thing an entrepreneur should do is um, another thing an entrepreneur. That's a good question. It really is because when you think about what an entrepreneur should do, usually they have it inside them, to be honest with you. Most entrepreneurs, they really go out and they already have this idea and they have this drive, they have this motivation, they have this compassion to do what they want to do and they believe is right. So in a sense, I don't think that entrepreneurs should do things. I think they should do what they believe is right. Three things an entrepreneur should never do. Uh, I, I say number one is, is doubt yourself. Don't ever doubt yourself in what you're doing. I think once you doubt yourself, it, you, you're just kind of on a downward spiral. Uh, number two, don't ever give up. Just, just keep fighting through. And sometimes when you think you're, you're coming to an end, just keep persevering through that and keep pushing through. Just as Matt and I have a couple times in our career path in, in running our company. We, we did face troubled times, we did face challenges, and we were able to kind of push through that and persevere. And I would say the third thing an entrepreneur should never do is, is kind of spread yourself way too thin. If you spread yourself way too, too thin, you're gonna lose focus on the business and not allow you to, to really think about what's important and what the next, next step should be. So always think about you know, the future, lay out the groundwork for the, the path of your company. Our atmosphere is hard working but yet it's very fun. Um, we have a pool table, we have a ping pong table, we have razor scooters. Sometimes we play dodgeball in here. The whole goal here is to work your butt off but also to have fun because we have a lot of dedicated great employees that work for us that do a great job and really that's what it's all about at the end of the day is your team. So when I graduated it was 2000 
and there was no entrepreneurship center, there was no entrepreneurship classes, and to have the Feliciano Center for Entrepreneurship now is just an amazing thing that students should really just appreciate. And if you want to become an entrepreneur, that's the way to do it, is to educate yourself, get involved with the center, get involved with the classes, and really set forth and try to educate yourself on what it takes to become an entrepreneur, what the mindset of an entrepreneur is, and those are things that you're going to learn in the Feliciano Center. The Feliciano Center would have been a huge success for me. I mean, I remember being 19 at Montclair State University, you know, embarking on this, you know, social network site. And I actually went to my family for support and help on it. And it would have been beneficial if I actually had a team inside the school that could train me, teach me, give me guidance on what I should be doing. You know, maybe one day it wouldn't have ended up in a big failure. Maybe it could have been the next Facebook for all I know.